How do astronauts get experience with space-like conditions before their first mission? They can experience the zero-g flight. Pilots fly a jetliner upwards at a 45-degree angle, then let it drop. As the plane is in free fall, they pull it back up again. This action creates the condition of weightlessness. The plane carries the nickname, the Vomit Comet, because many people get sick on zero-g flights, as the conditions are repeated up to 40 times. During the free fall, astronauts can experience true weightlessness for up to 25 seconds. They can practice procedures that they might have to carry out in space, or just have a little fun. What are some of the other ways that astronauts can train? One way is to train underwater. In pools like this one, the buoyancy of water creates the impression of weightlessness. It allows astronauts to practice techniques they will use in space. How do they prepare for the liftoff into space? They're placed in a device that mimics the pressures of liftoff. It's called a centrifuge. A doctor monitors the subjects, observing the physical effects on the body. Some people get motion sickness due to the gravity present at liftoff. These potential astronauts must either learn to control their motion sickness or they may be removed from the program. How are we sure that astronauts are healthy up there? Once in space, the health of astronauts will be monitored constantly. Humans are not adapted for living in space. After decades of research, we know that muscles atrophy or waste away when we live in a zero-gravity environment. Bone density also decreases. After living in space for a while, astronauts have a difficult time readjusting to the gravity of Earth and may take weeks to recover after returning home. Astronauts on the International Space Station have their health information relayed back to Earth by satellites. The position of the satellite allows for the immediate transfer of large amounts of information from the space station to the ground. Doctors can use this information to both keep today's astronauts healthy and devise strategies to help future astronauts.